Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. We have some update when it comes to the battle between Elon Musk and Twitter. That drama continues. Initially, obviously, Elon Musk uh, bought a lot of shares, then joined the, uh, the, the top of Twitter, then tried to buy it. Then there was a problem because he wanted transparency from the company and said, well, can, can you give us your actual data, finding out your bot accounts and this, you know, the spammers and everything else? Twitter decided to hide it. They, 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 got, they definitely have something to hide. And then you had uh, some uh, expose stories on uh, Twitter employees who are politically biased. And now we have a whistleblower who's actually come out. Uh, it's, it's really helping Elon Musk with his argument because he's started to pull out and say, I'm not going to buy this company anymore. And Twitter, the board of Twitter saying, eh, you, you have to buy it. You, you have to. Because they know if the whole thing collapses, then Twitter collapses at the end of the day. And this legal battle so far, especially with the new whistleblower who's come out to actually expose the security concerns of the website for the users and for the shareholders and for the advertisers, this is completely helping Elon Musk. And we have the, the analysis uh, on this uh, issue as well. Let's get to this video, find out what happened with this whistleblower. It's really suffering from some reputational damage at the moment, um, and it's going to be really difficult for it to come back from all of this and considering all the other reputational damage that Musk has um, done to the platform over the past couple of months as well. The issue with having a large number of bots or spam or fake accounts is that it can dampen the quality of the audience for advertisers and it can also make it more difficult for advertisers to be able to track and measure the effectiveness of their ad campaigns. It certainly makes things more complicated for Twitter. In many ways, Twitter has had the upper hand in this case against Musk so far. Um, while Musk has repeatedly complained about the number of bots on the platform, he really hasn't been able to provide any evidence outside of his own experience. And now he can use these allegations really to bolster his argument. The whistleblower complaint also had some really serious security and privacy concerns that were raised. And we know that Twitter has had some security and privacy issues in the past. We also know that it has an outsized impact on world events and on politics. And we also know that it has made protecting the privacy and the security of its users a really big priority and has talked about this publicly for quite some time now. So even if these allegations turn out to be false, it could still lead to a lot of criticism, some of which we're seeing right now, as well as potential scrutiny from not only consumers and the media, but even from lawmakers. I mean, that's absolutely spot on. There are two issues. One, on a business level, the if you have all these bot accounts and the fake accounts, advertisers, the whole campaign is going to be undermined because they're going to say, well, you have all these users, but we don't know which ones are real. So what's the point of us giving you money and advertise on your platform, which means Twitter would lose money, more money. That's one issue. Second thing is clearly there are some dodgy stuff going on in Twitter as, as a company inside the company uh, that if they release, if they become transparent and release all the documents, then maybe we'll find out some stuff. So whether it's the actual coding inside the, the data, the, 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 the platform, or just generally speaking documents about their own agenda because if they get exposed that what we know or what we have a feeling that we know about their political biases and everything else then yeah the whole company is going to go down and this is about what's going to happen with Elon Musk what the next move is because it started as a battle for free speech uh, and uh, against censorship and now it's about the bigger wider battle which is big tech now, big tech going hand in hand with big government has caused a lot of problems in our Western societies. Now, this is a time to fight back. And this is the time to actually completely disrupt the system. I want to say a massive thank you, everybody, for watching today's uh, shows. If um, there's going to be any kind of last minute breaking news or something, I'm going to come to you guys with a live stream uh, throughout the evening. But uh, uh, don't forget, by the way, before we actually go, we do have our anti-globalist movement, Build Back Britain, which goes hand in hand with all the topics to talk about today. You can get your own t-shirts and merchandise. You can find the link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe. Click on the bell next to it. I'm my TC and we are the media.